you, break down buildings. You know how, how Bruce is always, uh, or on some of them, he's had the Honu theme? He went like next level this time. He's got like Honu purflings. What? Oh. Okay, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but but then wait wait this is uh turtles right so it goes like... I was gonna say you have to do it in that kind of <laughs> or uh This is the brand new custom Petros tenor that we got in and it's always nice to get these in because they generally sound really nice and warm and deep. Um, what's cool is that he has all, all sorts of these really unique themes that he puts on his ukuleles. We featured a bunch of them with the honu or turtle theme but he took it a step further and uh, I'm tripping out just looking at this. So for one it's an all solid Master grade Hawaiian koa, tenor ukulele, koa faceplate with the Petrol's logo inlaid on the top. And man, this is beautiful. Um, we got the turtle inlays on the fret dots or on the fret board. There's side dots also as well. And we have the turtle theme rosette with a lot of Polynesian or tribal designs mixed in with it. Now here's where it gets really crazy because if you know how inlays are done is that these luthiers have to cut or actually first they have to draw their design and then from there then you have to cut pieces of their materials and then put it together. So we're dealing with small little tiny pieces of wood. If you look on the purfling near the binding of the instrument the turtle theme continues and if you look at how small some of these circles are and all these little details that he actually added to this wonderful instrument. I think it's incredible. Very difficult to do. Bone nut and saddle. You see the honu on the bridge plate? Yeah, it's sick. Oh. And it's actually textured too. So it's not just like drawn on. It's literally like etched. Wow. That is beautiful. Turtle on the strap button on the bottom. Coal binding. And just look at the side port. And then when we turn it around, we have a nice sap strip coming down the middle. Some people don't like it. I love sap strips on instruments. I think it makes it very, very unique. And I usually associate it with a lot of high-end builds. Very nice. Um, I love playing these ukes or Petrol's um, ukuleles here when we do podcasts because I'm a big fan of these Rubner tuners. They are... You pay a premium for them, but they're some of the best that you can use. I'm not a fan of any type of tuner that is hard to just grab the buttons. Um, these are very, very comfortable to, to tune, and they're extremely reliable and also handmade, too, which is incredible. So with this ukulele, you get a nice, rich sound. Very nice and low action, straight out of the case.
Cole, like in a good way. It's like Cole on steroids. <laughs> if Cole went to the gym. <laughs> There's just such a full, balanced glow to Petro's use. Yeah. Right? I like that a lot. Wow. Mm -hmm. 